Color Theory Basics with Mrs. Erb. Throughout history, artists have used color to create interesting works of art. As art students, we must learn how to use and control the attributes of color to make our artwork more successful. Color theory includes many definitions, concepts, and design applications. However, there are two basic but essential areas of color theory that art students should learn as they begin their study of color. First, the properties of color, and second, the effective organization of colors within a composition. Understanding the properties of color is perhaps the most important part of color theory and is the foundation upon which all other color knowledge is built. This foundation begins with the color spectrum. The color spectrum is the natural order of colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Color also has a circular order called a color wheel. The color wheel is a useful device to help us explain the relationships between primary, secondary, and intermediate colors. A color wheel helps us to see color relationships and to organize colors into color schemes. Red, yellow, and blue are the primary colors or hues. The primary colors cannot be made by mixing and are used to make all other colors. Orange, green, and violet are the secondary colors. They are made by mixing two primary colors together. When you mix red and yellow together, you create orange. When you mix yellow and blue together, you create green. And when you mix blue and red together, you create violet. Intermediate colors, also known as the tertiary colors, are achieved by mixing a primary and its adjacent secondary color. Mixing red and orange, for example, creates the intermediate red-orange. The primary color is always named first because it is the strongest in the mix. Yellow-orange is created by mixing yellow and orange. Yellow-green is created by mixing yellow and green. Blue-green is created by mixing blue and green. Blue-violet is created by mixing blue and violet. And red-violet is created by mixing red and violet. In all, a total of 12 colors make up the basic color wheel. When artists and art students understand how to effectively organize color, they can begin to use color as a compositional device. Color is an element of art that can be used as a visual tool to better create art. When we organize color, we create color schemes. Color schemes are intelligent ways colors are grouped in a work of art. A color triad consists of three colors that are equally spaced on the color wheel. The primary and secondary colors each form a triad color scheme. Any equal triadic placement can also be considered a color triad. Red-orange, yellow-green, and blue-violet, for example, are also considered a color triad because all three intermediate colors are equally spaced on the color wheel. The color wheel can be divided by temperature into warm and cool halves. A warm color scheme includes red, red-orange, orange, yellow-orange, yellow and yellow, and can be used to create a vivid, energetic composition. A cool color scheme that includes green, blue-green, blue, blue-violet, blue and violet can be used to create a calm, reserved composition. Red-violet and yellow-green fall between the warm-cool color division, so both colors can be considered warm or cool depending upon the colors they are grouped with. Warm and cool colors are also known as analogous colors. Analogous colors are a harmonious group of three to five colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. Red-orange, orange, orange, and yellow-orange are analogous colors. Complementary colors are any two colors that are directly opposite each other on the color wheel, such as red and green, yellow and violet, or blue and orange. Intermediate colors also have a complement. For example, 
red violet and yellow green are also opposite on the color wheel and can be used to create a strong contrast when paired together. A monochromatic color scheme is made up of one color and its various values. Value refers to the lightness or darkness of a color. A tint is a color mixed with white or a light value. A shade is a color mixed with black or a dark value. And a tone is a color mixed with gray or a dull value. You can also neutralize the brightness of a color by mixing its complement or opposite. For example, a small amount of green mixed with red will allow the red to retain its color identity, but it will change the intensity or brightness of the color. If you mix equal amounts of two complements, such as red and green, you will create a neutral brown. Black, white, gray, and brown are called neutral colors. They are not found on the color wheel, but they are essential to color mixing because they allow you to create a myriad of new colors within a color scheme. Artists and art students who understand how to effectively organize color and how color combinations work together are better able to control their compositions. When an artist or art student knows how to use color as a compositional device, he or she can begin to focus on the expressive qualities of color. As aspiring artists, we can use color to our advantage and become as successful as the artists who inspire us. Thanks for watching.